transition in the first half, or much better in the second half. How did you see that? Yes, it's true. Uh, the stats are the fact of course we um, all this possession and the, the, the shots and the, some chances we created, of course, the result can, could be different, definitely, because we created more chances, we, we had everything more, apart from the from the goals they scored uh, once and they won the game. It wasn't our, wasn't a good performance at all, wasn't, definitely. And um, try to rush, we didn't have the enough passion to play in our way. We, in certain moments, we didn't do the basics, and um, you know, if you don't do it, this in our way, if you let the game go every time, what is said for transitions, if you let the game to be unbalanced, and uh, most of the times you are not stronger than the, most of the teams in this competition, because in that physical point of view, you are not stronger than them, and you have to play in our way. You have to control the game in our way. You have to be balanced. You have to to don't rush decisions, don't win and lose the ball so quickly. And the first half, we didn't do that. And for me, it's clear that we didn't do that. And the uh, game was unbalanced. Of course, they, again, and last month and after months, more at home, they score in one moment. That at this level cannot, can't happen. And happened the same against Covent. More at home is happened more. So you have to keep the focus full focus because at the moment, completely under control. And you have to, to sort it in an easy way to prepare our offensive organization after that and they score in one moment um, strange and say, say nothing more and they finish at that moment even so was a clear fall because after the direct ball from the goalkeeper the player that, ju that jumped in the air with Nico it's a clear fall in front of Dugout I was there I saw it before the official has to, to, to see as well but okay it's something that you can control and forfeit and it's been happened with us so many times this season and it, it is strange and but okay mistake I can make as well and the players and the referee can make. Um, and as I said, that, that, that moment punishes and after that we start to rush all the decisions, not taking the right decisions. Of course we created some chances during the first half with five at that moment to equalize the game straight after the goal. And then with you, second half, I agree with you, second half was different. We pushed them back. We spoke of time that we have to be much more patient. We have to move quickly the ball as, to, as quick as you can, but to be able to be more patient, to keep the shape, to we'll start to run everywhere, all, all, all the players. And we started from the second minute of the second half. We created one big play chance with Bobby to equalize. We have some more during the second half. We control the second half like was our obligation. And Forte didn't score um, to equalize the game and probably to go to try to score the, the second one. Again, there's a moment for us to learn. And to understand why the last few home games, the things are open more often than normal on this type of mistakes. Because it's something that you have to learn from the present and from the future as well. What about some of the refereeing decisions? Um, the crowd behind me were quite getting upset with some of the decisions by the referee. How did you see that? Firstly, I have to say that you have to respect and I respect them. And I'm, I'm, sometimes I'm really emotional on the bench as well. And today has to be emotional of us we are. But it's tough. It's tough for the players. They are on the, inside the pitch and they, they know what's what been happening with our team so far this season. So far this season. Um, and tonight again, okay, it was our fault and uh, I, I look for ourselves. I told you it was our fault that we conceded, but the fault before was for fall from uh, inside uh, on, on, on Nico Williams in that moment. And after it's difficult to to see again like we it was second half. And after you see just five minutes extra time and plays on on the grass every time, even the last what attacks on ourselves to stop the game in, in a way that is it's difficult for the players to keep the focus, even if it's our obligation to keep the focus to the end, and I want them to, to keep and they must keep, but it's really tough. Okay, it wasn't a good game to watch, and the three teams, I think, they were not the best level. Marco, is it the, you mentioned about home form, I think recent form, it's one in four, maybe five now, is it, is it where we're at in the season, is it that pressure just to get promotion, to get the title, do you think that's a factor? Yes, because I'm, I know how they are. I know that they don't. They wanted to really to get the job done last last Saturday. They wanted to be, to get the job done uh, tonight. And last start, Saturday, last Saturday, we already spoke about it and why the things didn't happen in that, that moment. But tonight was different. Tonight we uh, we didn't perform at our best level at all. I don't see reasons to, to be under pressure. To be honest, I think it's the best.
best pressure in the world that you can have as a football player, as a manager, is to, to play to, to get promotion or to play to, to get a title, to, to be champion in one competition is the best pressure that you can have. And if you can't, if you can't deal with this pressure, something is wrong. Uh, and of course, we have to deal as a, as, as a group with this pressure and we work on it. I will speak with the players again in the next training session because we have to learn from this type of things. Because I don't see reasons for us to be so anxious with the ball and rushing so many decisions uh, in the game that we have to be really comfortable to play, even to enjoy it. To enjoy it because it was a night for us to, to enjoy working hard, of course, and doing the basics, but to enjoy. And at the end, we didn't show again. I think the job was, wasn't our best performance, and of course, you have to work from the moment. So don't repeat again next month. Like a couple of tough games, Bournemouth, Forest, almost the teams looking to be in the Premier League, so near Premier League tests. A lot of good things tonight, but also some, some errors, some not great errors. Do you learn about your players from that in the context of what you think? We are, all of us, we are running. All of us, we are running. Um, and my players, they know that I'm always. Um, Learning with them, learning with the, from all the performance, what we do well or not. And tonight was again a moment. It was again a moment for us to, to analyze and to, to, to see things. Of course, it's not just one game that will give answers for all of us. We know what we are doing. Of course, we took positives on the game and uh, something good as well. But overall, it was a, a good performance. I have to, to tell you, I didn't like the performance. The players they didn't like as well. They, they are the first ones that they know that we didn't perform at our best. Um, and we have to do the basics, we have to do the, the things where you are stronger than the other, the other opposi the opposition side. If you don't do it, the game is always 50-50 and we don't like it. Um, of course, you are analyzing and you analyze. I'm not saying that because our next season will be different. So we we'll analyze because it's our job to know. Last one, I as well. I see those goals, that's the which wasn't great, but you seem to respond quite well to that. It's quite a big safety, especially in the second half. How have you seen this progression? You'll be looking to really make an impression for next season after what happened last time when the up the line. Marek has to be focused in this season. Marek has to be full focus in this season, not more. Okay? I'll just quickly, I mean, obviously you just played um, Bournemouth and now Forest, uh, both going back to the second spot. Are you asking me? I spoke with in the, the pre match interview with some of you. Um, they are doing really well. Of course, tonight I have to, to be fair, they were, they were better than us. They, they, they punished you in, in, one, in one mistake that we made. They have to, to come to dangerous contra attacks or three dangerous contra attacks. After that, so of course, we, but they won the game. They their, their hang, they go for the game and they won the game. Overall, and I'm not the right person to talk about it, but I can give you my opinion, of course. And I think they are doing really well. They, he's doing a fantastic job. He's fighting for something really important for, for that football club. Uh, but it's, it's their fight, it's not our fight. It's about promotion, we get the job done early because we deserve it. We have been the best team in this competition. I think all of us will agree with this situation. Now we want to be, to be champion, we want to get the title, we need to fight for it. And to, for us to achieve it, we have to play much better than we play tonight. Uh, I have a question for you. Team Reed hinted that he could lead Fulham at the end of the season. Will the game against Luton be his last in, in the Fulham jersey? You have this information that you leave? What, what, when, when, when did you read that? When, when he read hinted that, that uh, yeah, it's fresh, the news is fresh, he didn't want to give it. Right, okay. I said, maybe you want to be a surprise to him. Don't be wor uh, worried about him. He is doing a fantastic season. He's been um, leading by the example. Um, 